couple of years back, I went home for Christmas, and I wanted to bring something from China to my family as a gift. But I realized it was very difficult to find things in China that you cannot. It was very difficult to find things in China that you can purchase in America. Everything seems to be made here. Just go to Walmart or Target or Sam's Club. Here in my small town in China, there is a Walmart that I frequent often. I can find,、um, I can find some international brands there that I can't find in other supermarkets. Stores such as Walmart, Costco, and now Sam's Club are exploding in popularity in China. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rojo Reads the News. I'm your host, Paul. Today we got a short article. It comes from GIC Expat. This is another one of these Chinese aggregating、uh, news sources.、Uh, Sam's Club starts construction of China's biggest flagship outlet. Sam's Club, a Walmart-owned membership warehouse club, started construction of its flagship. Outlet in China on Thursday. The flagship store is located in the Shanghai Weiguoqiao bonded area of the Pilot Free Trade Zone. It will be the largest independent building operated by Sam's Club in China and its third store in Shanghai. With a construction area of 70,000 square meters, the outlet is expected to open in 2021, next year. It's incredible how fast construction moves in China. There's a picture of it there. Yeah, it's not a bad-looking、uh, building. I think it looks much better than the Sam's Clubs that I've seen in the West.、It、looks like it's got some rooftop parking as well. The project will include a Sam's Club, which will have the largest single floor space among its outlets in China. A selected a selection of service facilities covering catering, entertainment, lifestyle, and education, and a smart parking lot with more than 1,100 spaces, according to Andrew Miles, president of Sam's Club China. Sam's Club currently runs 26 outlets in China. And is looking to have 40 to 45 clubs in operation or under construction by the end of 2022. My God, that's insane growth. Well, the popularity of these places for, for the Chinese consumer is really, really good. I mean, everyone loves a good deal. The company so far serves more than 2.8 million members in China, doubling the number from 2015. So interesting things happening in the retail sector of China.